All right, well, we got some info out of Zhang, so okay. let's, uh, let's come back to that tomorrow then. Only it wasn't so worthless. Well, we got something, at least. Yo. But for now, though, we kind of made a big mess while we were here, so... Run! Got it. It's not quite a stealth section, but yeah, we gotta we gotta make it out of restaurant row unscathed. There is ostensibly a weapon shop over here, but they won't serve us, so whatever. Let's just hail a taxi and get out of here. It's cheating. I'm not allowed to do that. Okay, fine, we'll do it the normal way. So yeah, the uh I don't know what the, if there is an intended route, but this is the one I ended up taking on my, on my first playthrough. Um, can't exactly feel that way. I'm not even sure those are like Liumong thugs. I think those are just guys. But yeah, Isazaki Road's probably a no-go. Oh, we can talk about the statue while we're here. Who the hell's this dog? Now it's probably inspired by Mexico. It is a taco place, after all. I love a good taco. Just thinking about it makes me want to stuff myself. For real? I mean, I'm sure they're good, but aren't they too rich to eat a whole bunch? I get it as, like, an appetizer or something. I, uh, think you might be confusing Mexican tacos with octopus taco. Get it for the long haul. I, I'll, I admittedly didn't understand that joke until uh, a doctor just spelled it out at the end there. Anyway, I guess we're gonna have to cut through Koreatown at, with this route. I do wanna emphasize that it's fine if you get into a fight like they're not gonna murk you I don't think mm. well but depending really, on the level of these guys here well I guess that's fair but I think we're probably okay enough to handle like a, a three blip difficulty just going by the map right eh, I guess but we're definitely fine over here because over here it's just a bunch of uh turn code titillators well, they might have been a little rough, actually. <laughs> but I got through it. And somehow I missed that prompt entirely for the uh, party chat. Just got distracted by the scorpion. I get it. Yeah, honestly, if you're playing this for or following along and just playing with this LP, I do just recommend, you know, calling a taxi out of there. Uh, let's just grab this taxi stand here that I'm pretty sure I grabbed in the PC version save file I've been using up until this point. Uh, and there is a weapon shop over here too that I may or may not have shown off already as well. Either way, they got some good stuff here. Expensive, but good stuff. So do you think the office box cutter is also oversized like the massage machine? No, that one I know is uh, life-sized. Yeah. Just because I know the nature of uh, that class's weapons. Well, since we're here, let's take a look around Koreatown. There's a restaurant over there that's pretty nice. It's, uh, they serve Korean barbecue, and... Is there ever a bad time for Korean barbecue? No. Exactly. Uh... Is that part of the exam? It will be. Uh, I also got curious about this building, which I guess is called THE building, going by the map there. Um, 
down in the basement. I believe it's a mahjong parlor. Yes. Yeah, that looks like mahjong. I'm not playing mahjong ever for this LP. <laughs> well, I did my time in judgment. Disagree strongly. Voting one on this video. <laughs> Um, you're not even gonna go up? Jeez, come on. Yeah, I guess I didn't go upstairs. Uh, you didn't want to go see Sujimon. Yeah, on the second floor of that building is the Sujimon Center. There's also like one other room, I think. But I don't know what's there. I can't remember. I don't think it was anything important. Yeah, I don't think so either. Um, you know, I'll have to double check. Anyway, we've uh, made it back to Isazaki Road. You keep I think I just did running a... into people is what it sounds like. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just did a big loop. <laughs> just didn't want to go like, the other way around. I don't even think I really dodged anyone. <laughs> like, from the original route, but. Oh, well, can't wait to see this seven minutes cut. Yeah? What is it? That's Rose Blossom, a well-known cabaret club around these parts. So this is where it was. Huh. Yeah, it's been damn near forever since I've been inside of one. Uh, eesh, I think I'm having withdrawals here. You are aware I work at a cabaret club, right? Yeah, but I know you personally. I'd see right through the facade. If you really think I'd put up a facade just for you, you're going to be sorely disappointed. I wouldn't mind seeing your business facade. I don't know. It'd be cool. But enough about that. We'll come back and check this place out, okay? Yeah? You mean it? Uh, I hate to kill the mood, but I'm broke. You think I'd make you pay after inviting you out? I'm not that rude. Sweet! Kasuga, you're a gentleman and a friend. Yeah, well, count me out. There's no way I'm setting foot in a cabaret club on my day off. It'd be way too awkward if I ran into one of my former girls. If anything, I'll go kill time somewhere while you boys enjoy spending your money. Yeah? Uh, thanks, I guess? Woof! Can't wait. Oh, I wonder what kind of girls they have. Mm. We haven't even gotten in the door yet, Adachi-san. Hit it for the- safe now. <sighs> Time to head on back for the evening. See you in front of Hello Work tomorrow. Hold on. Who's up for a nightcap in the room? Wow, it doesn't take you long to make yourself at home, Adachi-san. This is really nice to see. What is? How you all seem thick as thieves already. Really? It's not like we've known each other that long. Oh, this is just how guys are, Sachan. Now, let's go home. Be careful on your way back. She'll be fine. If someone attacks her, he'll end up in worse shape than she will. <laughs> That's right. I pity the man who messes with me. Me too. Good night. <laughs> hey. Hmm? Forget something? Was I holding something in my purse for you? No, it's not that. I, I was thinking... Look, our place is cramped and kind of dirty, but... But... If you don't mind that sort of thing, want to come stay with us? Are you sure? Yeah, as long as you don't take one look at it and run out screaming. It is pretty filthy. You're a nice guy, you know that? Me? <laughs> Never mind. Thank you.
Wait, is this...? Yep. Don't judge too harshly now. We get to stay on the second floor in exchange for protecting the place from Bleach Japan. I didn't even know there were places like this in Ijinchu. Haha, <laughs> you finally sweet-talked a girl into coming here? Who's the lucky lady? Uh, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not like that. Not at all. And I'd hardly call anybody invited here lucky. So you're just a friend of these guys? Yeah, I am. I'm betting big on them. You might say my life is a chip in their pile now. That's pretty much our relationship, isn't it? Hmm. Such a... Hmm. Well, if you think it's a smart gamble... I certainly do. I hope none of you are out to prove me wrong. I, I mean, we'll sure as hell try not to. For real? I do rem vaguely remember Psycho's uh, little tooltip saying that she uh, was resistant to getting drunk. At least she could hold it better than anyone else at the party, so I, I do like that that shines through okay. here. Off we go to the job center. Hooray. Ugh, I hate when the garbage piles up. It attracts all the crows. Ah, uh, don't hate the crows. They're just trying to get by, you know? In fact, crows are pretty smart. They've even been known to stop rummaging through trash if they see they're being watched. Huh, interesting. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you have a soft spot for them. Well, what can I say? We're birds of a feather when it comes to digging through the trash. <laughs> Guess everyone has a flock. If I remember right, there might be a dialogue with Psycho up here somewhere? Or did we already get that? Uh, we get the one on the roof. Yeah, yeah, we got that already. Alright, can't wait to see this 13 minutes, uh... I think there was another one somewhere? I mean, here's here's a book we could uh, use to boost Ichiban's, uh, passion stat. I have to admit, this is one of those games where, uh... You, you kind of need a guide to find, like, all the, the conversations and stuff. Hey, you guys want to hear a scary story? Where'd that come from? Sure, whatever. I was at a laundromat a little while back, and as anyone would, I put my clothes in the dryer. When there was about five or so minutes left, my cell rang and, and I went outside to talk. And? After ten minutes, I hung up and went back inside. <gasps> the dryer was still going. And the time left? 30 minutes. Whoa, that is freaky. Did you extend the time or something? Of course not. Why would I do that? Yeah, no good dryer shrank my favorite shirt because of that. The thing got all tight. Still wore it, though. You still wore it? Didn't think this story could get scarier, but... Uh, it's okay. I flex and it just... Balloon. It exploded. It was so cool. <laughs> He's always wanted to feel like a uh, Schwarzenegger. The Hulk. Yes, that's probably a better one. <laughs> <laughs> Either Hulk Hogan or The Incredible Hulk. <laughs> I think either are an appropriate answer.
Well, if this chest is gonna respawn, it might as well pick it up. Should I open no. it? No. Disagree. You fell for it. You fool. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, this plan's the same as the last time we came here. We're, uh, we're gonna infiltrate the trading company by getting jobs there. I could hear characters typing on their keyboard in this game. <laughs> it's very subtle. It's how boring okay. this area is. <laughs> 40 words per minute, Frank. Step it up. So yeah, even even Kanbei's a uh, little suspicious of uh, the Yokohama Trading Company's uh, profit margins because their business model just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to anyone just on the outside looking in. <laughs> Anyways, it was nice knowing you. <laughs> mm -hmm. It'll be fine, yeah. Kanbei. Don't worry, we came out of the last one alive. Yeah, we're not we even dead. picked up a fourth person. Not dead yet. Probably gonna beat this horse dead, but it is super weird that uh how silent this game can feel sometimes. <laughs> it's just it's uh it's like you know past iterations of the uh, yeah, games yes. where it just like suddenly gets quiet and there's no audio. Uh you know it it's the the mix of dead areas and these events. <laughs> Individually, they're not bad, I suppose, but together their power is even stronger. The silence really does feel deafening. <laughs> so wait, if we're a sheep to the slaughter being sent to this Yokohama trading company, does that make this the silence <laughs> of the lambs? <laughs> I had to reach for that one, I, I know. <laughs> I apologize. So.
Got it. Can't believe he's entrusting the lives of four adults to this one lady. All right. So now we have access to uh, the game's job system. Great. We go talk to Ririka over here on the left. <clears throat> Excuse me. My name is Kasuga. I know. You're the director's favorite formerly homeless go-getter, aren't you? Am I right in assuming that you're here to find work again now that Otohime Land is shut down? Y yeah, uh, so what should we do now? Since this is the first time you'll be using our services without going through the director, let me explain. Yeah, and thanks a bunch. Okay, take a look then. Okay, so we can change jobs here. It's your traditional JRPG job system. Each job has different uh, things they're good at and things they're bad at. I'll talk a little bit more about each job's strengths and weaknesses like as we get to them, I guess. That about covers it. I'll be able to place you in more jobs once everyone starts gaining experience. Your options are a bit limited right now, but you'll find many more jobs are available once you've made some progress. I gotcha. Anyway, here's what I have at the moment. Of course, you're responsible for any adjustments you must make when you change jobs. Okay, so when she says she can assign us jobs based on the experience we have, uh, there's both a level restriction and a, uh, for, for Ichiban, a personality uh, requirement for each job. Like, I believe you need, uh, like, level 5 pasture or something to be, uh, foreman, for example, and for host you need level, style level 3. Um, and for your party members, uh, they just get more jobs based on how, how close they are to Ichiban. Right. Make, make of that what you will, I guess. <laughs> oh, it's charisma to be a foreman, that's, that's what it was. Um... And before the cut the cutscene started, we did get the prompt that Devil Rocker and Matriarch were now available as jobs. Uh, those two jobs are available as DLC. They're DLC they're okay. Only. Yeah, Devil Rocker's okay, but I I do really like Matriarch for the women. Uh, also, men and women have different job pools in this game. It's kind kind of weird. <laughs> So yeah, uh, and I, as I said, have mentioned before, um, job, your character stats are also partly dependent on their job rank. So switching everybody out at the same time is a really bad idea just because it's going to neuter everybody at the same time. Mm -hmm. So once the job system's available, I find it best to just like swap over like one or two characters at once and then work the up just a bit so they get their stats again and then you can switch over the rest of your party yeah see i'm the kind of ocd where you're like no i can't do that i can't stagger uh job changes i either change people to what i need or i change them all at the same time <laughs> i i hear that but i also the way like the job experience thing works like it i everyone gets staggered at some point so whatever so, the one I am going to take now is, uh, I'm going to make Psycho an idol, which is one of her better classes in general, because her stats are pretty much tuned for healing. Roger that. So this is how we change jobs. Yes, just talk to me when you want to try out something new. There's no limit to the number of times you can switch, and you can always resume your previous job too. You may even want to try a bunch out to see which one feels right for you. Nice. I definitely didn't think it'd be this easy to switch jobs. Well, that's in part due to how I'm only able to offer you easy jobs right now. And because I'm the one handling all the paperwork. Just keep that in mind. Uh, sure. I'll remember that. And that'll do it, I think. Now, as for that part-time job at the Yokohama Trading Company, which you and the director spoke about, they called us to say you were hired. No, really? Yes. They'd like to start you straight away, but right now, even. The warehouse you'll be working in is north of Hamakita Park. It's not exactly walkable, so I'd recommend taking the train. Got it. Thanks, Rivrika-chan. We'll be back when we need to change jobs. Looking forward to it. 
Ririka, John? I'm glad you're so excited. Please come by any time. So, yeah. If you ever need to change jobs, you have to come to Hello Work here. It's, a. Uh, this is one of those things that is a holdover from Dragon Quest, where you, if you want to change jobs, you have to go to, like, what's it called? All Trades Abbey? It's mildly, it's mildly annoying, but at least you can fast travel to Hello Work. Yeah, but you can't travel, fast travel inside the building, so. It's kinda... Yeah. Can I help you? It's, it's one of those things where, like, I kind of, I'm pining for, like, Final Fantasy system where that I can just change jobs from the menu. Mm. Also, we can just, even if you don't change jobs, you can change costumes here. I like that, uh, sir, uh, given Namba that costume gives him, uh, tattoos. Do your best out there. I think I went to uh, the first chance I had, I went four breakers in all Ono Michio uh, costumes. Hmm, that's a powerful combo. It was. Break dancing fishermen all over the place. <laughs> Pretty sick. All right. Uh, oh, and that other thing that uh, Ririka mentioned about how, like, any adjustments we'd have to make after changing jobs. She's talking about equipment. Like, the game will do its best to auto equip you with like weapons for the new job but like accessories uh like if you have job specific ac accessories those are gonna get unequipped like the uh that job experience thing we had on psycho up until that point like you cannot use that as a uh, um as an idol anyway th this kid has been reported as lost on part-time hero there so let's go turn in the quest I think I had to look this one up because I it, there's like no hints or whatever, and <laughs> I just like eventually wanted to clear up my uh, quest page. <laughs> I found this kid by accident, actually. <laughs> like I was just walking down the alley and I was wondering like what this kid was even doing here. I'm glad we don't have to, like, go to uh, a, a part-time hero representative to actually turn in the quest. Like, it just turns in. This time. Yeah, some other ones you do, but this one, it's nice enough to do that for you. I think the only reason why I don't have a problem with turning in quests for a different hero... You know, some do turn in automatically, as we've seen, but uh, I don't have a problem with Disney compared to uh, Hello Work, just because Hello Work is, has only yeah, one same. location. Yeah. If they had yeah. another one on the map, I think I'd be a little bit more, Who's more okay with it. Me! Nothing like an extra large beef bowl to satisfy a working man's hunger. Got that right. I used to eat here every other meal. Ah, but you know what? I probably should downsize. Guess that's the old age talking. Come on, man. You really think you're that old? All right, let's order up some more. Ready to get your grub on? Y you say I'm not old, yet you go and order a big plate of geezer food. Well, damn. Hmm. These are actually pretty good. Clears the uh, palate and all that. I used to wonder who the hell would order these, yet here I am, chomping away. Guess it's true what they say, how taste matures with age. Ha! <laughs> so you really were calling me old. Mm. 
nice day. Thank you very much. I guess everyone's a little buzzed after that. Uh, and then this guy over here's got some kind of a tip for us. But you know, if we tell him that we know it, then he's not going to tell us. There's a prize in Jack well, Jack, well, Jack, Crack Jack bags. Well, this tip may, somehow felt more mundane. It may wreak havoc on the libraries. I don't need the health lesson from you there, buddy. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Uh, I hate coming to the train station because there's always a group of enemies just right there ready to pounce. You're not paying attention. Uh, I don't know how to kite around them is the problem. Uh, chaos, chaos, chaos. Uh, let's just go. No, don't go. Oh. Uh, 